Hi and welcome to my course in writing Angular 2 code and actually creating an entire web page or an entire web application inside the mean stack. Now I already made videos about how to use Mongo database, how to use Express, how to use Node.js. You can go and find those there. I'll add a link in the series description here. And um, I'm going to now focus on the Angular 2 part and actually start developing a front end for a REST API. But we're also going to have a look at all the other tools surrounding all of this, like uh, using Git, using um, a specific IDE, uh, some kind of environment that you can write your code in, etc. Et so we're going to try and, and, and figure out the whole package of actually developing this web page. We are going to try and deploy it on live environment, etc. Et so the goal of this is actually to build a full featured web application called Course Planner 2, because I already made number one. So we're going to make version 2.0. And we're going to use the bean stack, as I said. We already learned about the man REST API, so if you want to play around with that, you can go for it. This is going to focus on the Angular 2 application, and we're going to talk to a REST API, but the REST API doesn't have to be Mongo, Express, and Node. It can be any. It could be Firebase. It could be... Um, I also made tutorials about how to use um, C Sharp to actually build a REST API using the web API inside uh, the C Sharp.net framework. So you could also use that as the REST API, it's up to you. And we'll focus more on the Angular part of actually using a REST API. But in the end, I'll try and cobble it to a REST API just to show you that we can actually do that. We're going to talk about security, about login, about some of the basic uh, security issues there are when you make a web application. We're going to focus a bit on Git, which is one of the tools to actually share your code with others. And testing, how you could test your web application if you wanted to, because Angular has a very strong test framework. Uh, set up already, so we might use that as well. I'm going to use WebStorm as the IDE, and the next video we'll, we'll try and install that. But there's also other IDEs out there, and I'll try and just discuss some of them so you have an idea about what else exists. So we'll have a talk about that later as well. Angular CLI and Heroku CLI is two tools for the command prompt or the terminal that we can execute code against these two types of frameworks. So the Angular CLI is for us to create components, to build our entire Angular application into something we can deploy to a live environment. And the live environment is then going to be, in our case, Heroku, where we can actually just deploy the entire Angular application to Heroku, and we can also deploy our REST API to Heroku, and then they can talk together um, in that environment so we can actually make a live running application you can show it to your friends you can start using for real and of course you can upgrade it in heroku heroku if you want to do that later to actually uh, manage the traffic you might be getting with your new beautiful application i'm going to make this in two separate tiers that's not something i did in the last series but i'm going to do it this time where we have the one tier is the rest api on its own completely separated from the mongo uh, sorry from the angular part and then the Angular is going to be its own um, piece of code as well, totally separated from um, the REST API. The reason is then you can switch the REST API. If you already have a REST API running, you can just take that instead, instead of building a new one from scratch, right? So that's the reason why I wanted to do the two tiers this time. The design we're going to use is going to be Angular Material, which is Google's Material components. They are pretty far with Angular Materials. There are still some things missing, but we'll try and figure out how far we can get with Angular Material as the component for building a good UI. GitHub, well, that's where we're going to share our code. I'm going to add tags to every uh, piece of code. I'm going to add that tag name to the video so you can see where you can go to check out the specific code for the specific video. So you can follow along if you want to. Then we're going to talk about Mac versus Windows. I'm going to start out by just installing the things we need on Windows, but I'm going to move to a Mac after that because I'm just more comfortable in the Mac environment and the Windows, I want to show the installation because it might be a hard thing to do. Windows can some kind be kind of, some kind times be kind of tricky to make the installation work. The videos are going to be around two to five minutes and that's it. Let's do it. Let's start building some real application here. Let's try to make something real out of a mean stack, something that you could actually present to a customer later on if you want to. See in the first video where we'll install WebStorm. Have fun.